Ebb of a spring tide asks the water to explain its own time. It tells time through the cycling flow and movement of water through the large water clock, how it collects in the surrounding sedimentary formations and how it responds to the tidal shift of the East River. Watching and listening to these water flows can be seen as a symbolic presence of the tides. Ebb of a spring tide is about my last apartment unit. It was in the lowest level and would flood when high tide met with torrential rains. I started following the tides. After it happened a few times, I was able to move to the top floor, which I also quickly learned leaked from the roof this time when it rained. The sculpture's form is based on a dream I had at the time, a building built with a scaffolding frame with steps and tiers to compose the water element, like a deconstructed apartment building collecting water in its crevices with doors to nowhere and ladders to nowhere in continual repair. If you were to see it from above, the form replicates the East River's tide map. In the dream, the canoe was right there, but I couldn't use it because it was porous, full of holes and also sinking. My work is about home, food, water, and care, especially through the stewardship of ecosystems. Here, I wanted the sculpture to show what could grow when more and more lands are inundated with saltwater intrusion. As the East River expands and as storm scenarios change in a city with prevalence of more storm events. All these plants are salt tolerant and some thrive in salt water. They're all edible or have medicinal properties. Like the ecosystems that I inhabit daily, installing and maintaining the water clock elements in ebb of a spring tide is about balance. While it acts like a machine, it's also organic and needs to be tended to with patience and diligence. I believe when a human-made ecosystem is small enough to comprehend, it opens up more opportunities for care. It's possible to see how and why something may not be working and then work with it to find the balance. Many people from Socrates directly participate in its care, as well as people who come by and forage from the salt-tolerant plants. I hope the sculpture invites people to reflect on these waters, on the speed of ecological change, and on the importance of ancient human traditions that guard the relationships with water. I want to steward these waters as they move through the land that I inhabit, as they move through our bodies and cycle through the sky, atmosphere, and back down to the aquifers, the rivers, and so on.